Actions is another pretty useful feature in C-sharp. It allows you to write cleaner and less error-prone code. We can just trigger the action in some script and assign listeners to the action so that it can call some voids. It can be especially useful if you have multiple objects, right now I have multiple enemies, and when the player kills the enemy, I want to increase the score, which is handled by the score manager. Right now I have a void increase score on the score manager, and on the enemy I have a reference for the score manager, so I need to find object of type score manager, and then I can call the void increase score, which is on the score manager. This code is not very effective, because let's say that I have hundreds of enemies and each of them needs to find the score manager and have a reference to it. Now imagine that I would have an audio manager and when I kill the enemy I would also want to play some sound, so I would need to have another reference in the enemy AI script. What we can do instead is create the actions, so I will create a separate C-sharp script. We can delete all of the voids. I will make the class static so that we can access it in other scripts easily. And we can remove the mono behavior because we don't need to put the actions on any object. To use the actions we need to add using system. And I will be creating all of the actions public and static so that we can easily access them. So we write public static action and give it some name, so for example on enemy killed. And just like that we have defined an action, if you want to give it some parameters, you want to type it into the angled brackets, but we will do that later. So now when the health of the enemy is less or equal to zero, we can just call the action. So we will access the script, which is actions, dot on enemy killed, brackets and semicolon. Like this we have called the action. And because with the action we will be handling also the void in the score manager, we can delete the references to the score manager in the enemy script. Which is quite nice. And now in any other script we can add listeners to the action and call some void. For example on the void start we could type actions that on enemy killed and add a listener so just type plus equals and now which void we want to trigger we want to trigger the increase score so just type the name without the brackets because we are not actually calling the void we are just subscribing it to the action for now i will just delete the parameter in the void and like this we have subscribed a listener to the action so when the enemy's health is less or equal to zero it will call the action enemy killed and we subscribed it to the void increase score. But this is not very good practice, it is better to subscribe the listener on enable and on disable we want to subtract the listener. Because if we would for example turn off this object and the listener would still be active, it would give us error. So when we turn on this game object, it will subscribe to the listener and it will call the void increase score and when we disable or destroy this object, it will subtract the listener. And when I kill some of the enemies, you can see that it is adding the score just fine because on the enemy we have called the action and the action is subscribed to this void. Now here comes the beauty of the actions because if I have the audio manager and when the enemy dies, I would want to play some sound, so I can just add a listener to the same action. And another nice thing is that you don't need to have the voids public, because you don't need to access them from the enemy script, so I can just make them private. So now with just one action, I am able to add the score and also play the sound. And we don't need to worry about the references, we can just call the action. I have also defined a variable score gain, so each of the enemies can give us different amount of score. 
So we will need to define a parameter for the action, but instead of defining just a int, I can define the whole enemy class. When calling the action, I can just pass in this object, which is this enemy AI class. Here in the score manager, it is giving us an error because we are not implementing the parameter, so just type it to the parameters of the void increase score. And now we can increase the score based on the volume score gain. Just like that. And we'll have another error in the audio manager, so we will just add the parameter, but we don't need to use it. And now each enemy should give us different amount of score. Yeah, it works just fine. Here you can see why actions are so useful. You don't need to have public voids, you can call multiple voids with the same action, and the main thing is that you don't need to be storing all of the references to other scripts. I hope that this video was useful, if you have any questions drop them down to the comments, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in next videos. Bye! Just a quick reminder that I can also teach you individually anything about Unity, Bolt or C Sharp because I just can't fit all of the information into these videos or I can also help you with your personal projects or with the features you are trying to implement so feel free to reach out to me and we can have an individual lesson. One hour lesson costs 10 euros and is on Google Meet.